Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Can you see me? <laughs> it got me blinded. I can't see. Uh, turn the lights down just a little bit. Light, light up the place here uh, so I can see who I'm speaking to. Those bright lights there. Turn them down just a little bit. Make it, you know, let's get it here where I can. Josh, can you take care of that? <laughs> you know, back when I was boss, I mean, I could, uh, I say something like that, it would happen, but, uh, you know, this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> things change. Uh, I was just back with uh, sitting, Kendra said, sit by me here so we can work together and, and uh, communicate. And so, uh, so far this morning, there's been no communication. Uh, <laughs> I would uh, hit her on the shoulder and say, and she would say, uh, she said, uh, don't bother me, I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> Try it again, you know, stop, stop, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying to work on my talk, okay. Uh, I say, Josh is doing a good job. Okay, but don't bother me, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I remember back when I was the CEO, you know, and uh, <laughs> I, uh, oh wow, well, Josh, uh, Josh mentioned that, uh, that uh, you, you know, get in the business possibly he, the possibility of finding a wife, uh, you know. Uh, J Josh, maybe you should rephrase that. You find a girlfriend first and then try to <laughs> have her become your wife. Okay, don't go out looking for wives, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> just all good advice, all good advice. Uh, wow, as I think back of... Uh, on, uh, first of all, I would want to say, wow, what a great convention start to the convention. What a good feeling. You can feel the energy. Uh, Josh, Kendra, the team, uh, along with uh, the, you top distributors, you know. Uh, my gosh, uh, you see them on the stage here. I'm looking right at Louie and a couple of others, but... Uh, Alan, you know, what an example you're, uh, you and your wife are setting uh, here. And so this renewed energy has, uh, along with, uh, uh, as I said, Josh and Kendra and, and uh, the team back at the office there, all very, very many uh, very important players uh, that just put their head down and, uh, and deliver, okay? And so what, you're, what you've seen so far and what you're going to see throughout the convention uh, is amazing. It will, it, it will amaze, shock and amaze you as it, as it does me to watch this very talented group of people uh, deliver the goods, okay? And so uh, that's why I'm so confident about the future. And as I mentioned yesterday to the world team, president's team uh, meeting that uh, uh, I have uh, turned over the reins of the company to Kendra, my daughter, and uh, she will be calling the shots from now on. Uh, I, this, was, this happened, by the way, uh, a month ago, a little over a month, month ago, month, in fact, the uh, first week of June, uh, I announced it to the, to the corporate staff in our mid-year meeting, and uh, it was very well received, and I told her then uh, you know, and I told Josh and I told uh, the team, I said, look, I'm here. Uh, you know, I, God has left me here for a while and so far, and I'm uh, available. Call me any time. And as I mentioned yesterday, the phone has not been ringing, okay? <laughs> the, uh, they, man they managed to do all this without me, you know, which... Uh, uh, <laughs> now, I'm going to go back. I'm not you, retiring. No, 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 no. You know, I my whole life building, uh, building a distributorship. Would you believe it? The company, the company has simply been built on the side to support my my distributorship, uh, along with, along with uh, uh, that of when we merged together and uh, and bought the Neolife company. By the way, I, I don't want to uh, neglect to mention the founder, Don Pickett. 
of, of Neolife and what a fabulous man he was. And, uh, and, and thank God, uh, I am so grateful that he chose, chose us uh, to continue uh, to guide the Neolife company and it's become uh, our number one brand. Uh, and so uh, we've gone back to Neolife as our branding because why not have the name on the company that represents about 85% of our sales. So, so that's it. But I want a you know, special recognition for Don Pickett because, uh, but anyway, uh, I've watched this unfold. I've watched, uh, I've, I've watched it. I feel very, very confident. Uh, and I, I know, I know that uh, the future uh, is in good hands with, uh, with Kendra uh, guiding the team. And, uh, you know, I actually was running the business uh, when I was Kendra's age, all right, at 26. Uh, and uh, so I've been doing it a long time. And I will tell you without a doubt that she is so much better qualified than I was at 26, okay? There's no comparison, all right? There's no comparison whatsoever. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to have her come up here now. You're gonna hear from her later. But, you know, if I take a trip back and, and think about uh, uh, starting the business, <clears throat> first of all, a distributor, <clears throat> and, then, and then participated in a couple of failed companies, and uh, as a distributor, and had to try to gather up my t little team and then move it to the next place, and, uh, then in, uh, and then gather it up again when that company, two companies went broke one and a half years after I joined. Now think about that, you know, think about that. Uh, you've got your businesses going, Louie, and you've got everything going great, and. Uh, uh, you know, all your, all your people are happy and whatnot, and uh, then, uh, you know, you, you read in the paper tomorrow that, uh, that Neolife has gone bankrupt. Okay, now, how do you feel? Okay, not too good, I would hope. Uh, <laughs> but that happened to me twice, and these are my friends and, and things that I had gathered around and tried to paint a picture of the future that the company was painting to me, and uh, then I had to start over. And so uh, I kept this remnant of distributors, one, two, three, and then uh, it, when I was 25 years old, uh, was starting to put together the formation of the, of the company that ended up being what we see today after a lot of uh, mergers and, and this and that. But, uh, uh, gold, you know, Golden Products uh, then formed the, the name, carried that name through the 70s, and then, uh, and then the GNLD name was an attempt to put together the brands of Golden, Neolife, Diamite, uh, and we came up with a name that uh, uh, we pleased everybody, uh, but nobody uh, with that name. Uh, <laughs> I had my own customers who I'd had through all this, and, and uh, every time I, I can remember, Bill Tilly lives in Los Angeles here, he would call for more product and he would say, why, uh, give me some, do you have, I'd like some more of that G, uh, G, D, G, L, uh, why don't you change the name of that blank, blank, blank company, uh, you know? And this happened over and over. Uh, we, I, go to, I go to, I remember Kendra and I were in, uh, uh, we're in South Africa, and and uh, this lady, what's her name? Uh, the, the, uh, older lady that, eighty something years old, Hubri. Hubri stood up and said, you know, uh, I am a golden distributor. I will always be a golden distributor. I'm nothing to do with this G whatever, and blah blah blah. So okay. Now, this was a GNLD convention, okay, that she was speaking at. <laughs> I go to, <laughs> I go to uh, uh, Australia, and uh, uh, let's see, it was, uh, what's her name? Rose, uh, first name. Huh? Doreen Rose, Doreen Rose, I don't know why. Uh, you know, that's what happens when you got a mind completely full. 
and, and you take in something new and it pushes something out, you know? And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's always a downside to being, have this much information, okay? <laughs> anyway, Doreen Rose. Wow, Doreen uh, stood up and said, uh, I joined Neolife Company. I'm still a Neolife distributor. I'll never be a GN of blah, blah, blah. I'm a, you know, blah. I said, wow. And then we started doing little, you know, I remember Kendra and I were in the airport in Johannesburg and a beautiful, you know, black woman there was uh, sitting there. She looked very sophisticated, started talking to her. We're in the waiting lounge and, and uh, she says, what are you doing here? Uh, and uh, she had a very important job. She was on the board of directors of a company and, and uh, we said, uh, we're here with GNLD, never heard of it, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, have you heard of Golden Product? Oh, Golden, my, oh, thank God for Golden Product, she says. <laughs> my mother was a Golden Products distributor and she uh, paid my way through school uh, and I got my degrees, and now I see, so I owe everything, you know, but that company is long gone, you know, and I, wait a minute, no, it's not. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, after a lot of discussion, we came back, Neolife, Neolife, and what a, what a wonderful name, and how that's caught on, and, and uh, you know, there's a sense of, of uh, revitalization going on through the whole uh, uh, global Neolife family right today, you know, and uh, I'm so happy to, to be a part of it. Now back to uh, my thought process, what I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to continue to uh, work on my organization. I don't have to worry about this company thing anymore too much. I'm going to, you know, uh, I have not uh, done a good job of uh, expanding uh, expanding my uh, business, my, my organization into Asia. You know, it's in uh, Japan, it's in the Philippines, it's in Australia, New Zealand, the South Pacific, but, you know, I want to be in Hong Kong, you know, Singapore, tai Taiwan, uh, South Korea, you know, I want to be in all those places, so, <clears throat> you know, if you can, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be working there as well as here, and uh, occasionally I'll go uh, help uh, George Casal over in Europe and Roger Ace in Africa and, uh, and uh, be down with Houdith in Mexico and so on. But anyway, I'll, I'm, I'm going to do the part of the business that I love to do and that's out there uh, working and uh, that, that's the fun part by the way. I don't know if you know that but uh, uh, some of the things that uh, go on, uh, just getting ready for this convention, you know, uh, staying up all night trying to make sure all the everything is working and going to and all that kind of thing which Kendra did last night and of course Jessica and uh, and uh, uh, all of the staff you know uh, they just uh, uh, they spend countless hours in the background you know with things that go wrong in fact I understand that somebody's hard drive on a computer crashed just a day or so ago and they had to redo everything okay now you can imagine uh, the the uh, the turmoil <laughs> that goes into that. That's no fun when you're uh, doing that. Now I can turn that over and uh, watch uh, uh, Kendra and the group grace uh, or uh, gracefully age. Okay, uh, uh, you know, uh, Kendra's a beautiful woman, of course, and she she will still look beautiful uh, when she loses her hair, and it's not going uh, <laughs> to. Uh, so that, that part, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> it'll first go, go white and then it'll go out, okay? It's just... <laughs> well, looking back, looking back, uh, I'm just... <laughs> uh, translation is a little slow here. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh. Wow, it's just, it's good to have, I'm here to have fun, that's all, okay? Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just want to have fun. <laughs> I'm here with my, 
I'm here with my beautiful wife and daughter, of course, my, and you see, well, see my daughter, but I'll have my wife stand up, uh, Susan. Uh, oh, great, good, right, so happy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for staying during my talk. I really appreciate that, dear. You know. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, started out as a distributor, struggling, you know, I remember uh, traveling, you know, with another distributor, and we stayed in a Motel 6 when the price was $6 a room. <laughs> Shared the room, okay. Spent a few nights in my car, you know, that wasn't no fun, okay. Uh, but it seemed like the right thing to do since I didn't have any money, okay. And uh, so struggling, struggling. And uh, selling the products, selling the products and trying to uh, make ends meet a little bit. And, uh, and, and some, some, some way, somehow, somewhere, you know, I got the, uh, the, had the courage to keep facing uh, reality, you know, facing the, the, my life. And that's what really takes the courage. You know, it's one thing to talk about courage and then say, well, courage is uh, if somebody hits them, you hit them. No, that's not courage. Or <clears throat> courage, I think, is uh, the kind that really wins, is when you face your, uh, your own prospects of the future and you analyze your situation and you realistically look at where you are, where we are, I am, was, and you say, wait a minute, I'm, I have no money. Uh, I don't have very good prospects for a, a job. I don't have uh, all, of the, uh, all of the formal education that would be required for some company to pick me up and put me in a, a slot. Uh, and then uh, if I don't change something, you know, my future is not going to look very bright. Uh, I look around and I see relatives and friends and family and they don't have anything either and they've been on this track for much longer. And I, I look at all that and, and then that, that, that was the courage to take. You know what? If I don't change, you know, I can look at my uncles and aunts and my my father and mother, I can look at everybody around me. I can look at acquaintances in this little city of Porterville, California, which is a couple of, couple of hours north of here. Uh, I look at that and, uh, and then I say, you know what, I, I've got to, you know, I'm, a, I'm honest. I'm willing to work. Uh, you know, I'm not a drug addict. Uh, you know, I, I'm a, I have uh, Christian beliefs, I have uh, 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 integrity, and uh, so why not me? Why can't I uh, do something about it? And that attracted me to this business because as somebody said in one of the testimonies I saw going up here, uh, that, uh, uh, you know, pr well, products that work, you know, change your life, get healthy, you know, make some money, right, and improve yourself. And by, by joining in this lifestyle and staying with it, even though the company goes broke, whatever, I stay. Another company goes broke, I stay. Kept fighting it until, and believe that I'm the one that needs to change and, and try to improve. A along the way, progress was made. And then, of course, uh, we put a lot of, you know, emphasis and energy and vesting the company money back into the science and back into uh, making sure products work. You see all these testimonies or hear them about products that work and, uh, and uh, wow, you know, it wasn't, um, many of these people that had these uh, transformations in their health were already taking some kind of supplement. It just wasn't working. Now you find one that works. And, uh, and me, my own personal health story came along with that. Here's a skinny kid from Porterville, California with asthma so bad you're about to die every year. And you find that supplementation starts to play a role. And then I have seen 
uh, the, not only that problem, but many others, uh, uh, health problems just come and go and disappear uh, totally because of the lifestyle, the lifestyle that keeps you on track. Even when you, uh, you know, even if we don't eat exactly what we should, we're reminded constantly that we should, <laughs> right? We, if we, uh, even though we don't think positive thoughts every hour of the day, every week, every month, like we should, we're reminded when we don't. Somebody comes along and says, you know what, you got to change, get back and think right. Uh, even though we don't exercise like we should, we're reminded that we should. So if you live this lifestyle, it is sort of a guide, it's a pathway that keeps you on the straight and narrow or reminds you where you should be, okay, where you should be. And if you follow the teaching and, the, and, the, uh, and follow the advice and follow all of the things that are brought to us through being associated with neo-life, then our lives turn out better. We grow as a person, as someone said, we, we, we get healthier. No matter where we start, we can become healthier. We can become healthier and we can become financially independent. I mean, behind all these stories you just saw glimpses of here, uh, I'm reminded of when uh, Charlotte was talking, Charlotte Shelton, and you know, the, have a beautiful ranch back in uh, the Texas area there outside of Dallas, uh, I think, uh, uh, and then uh, animals on the ranch. And uh, I asked Josh or somebody, I said, is Charlie going to stay on the ranch out there? And he said, I think so. She's got a whole staff of people out there that help take care of the animals and all that. And, and uh, she'll just be, uh, you know, a, a woman about Dallas running around selling products, you know. I, so good to uh, see... Uh, uh, Linda, Linda Spaulding, thank you for coming back. Linda had been absent a few years, but you know she told me she was playing golf the other day and uh, uh, she was on a par, th par three hole, or, yeah, par three hole. The phone ring and somebody placed over $2,000 order. She says, this is a good business, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, they've disappeared, her and, uh, and uh, Richard, her husband, uh, for a while, didn't attend the conventions, but good to see you back, and 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 good to know that uh, you're still selling the products and and benefiting from the lifestyle. I mean, uh, to to see uh, uh, you know Tom Martin up here talking about uh, see second generation uh, Norval Joanne uh, spent their adult life you know working the business, and then uh, it's uh, the, the business has supported their family all in very good style all of these years. I, I know just a little history, vacation homes in, in Lake Tahoe and living, on, uh, living, a, uh, living a plentiful, charmed, rich life, you know, uh, for many, 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 many years. And we see that. Now, c contrast that with people in normal business. I'm just so glad that I, I'm so happy that I did, fortunate that I didn't get one of those jobs from a big company that kind of got me comfortable and put me on a, on a pathway leading nowhere, right? <laughs> wow, that would have been horrible. I might not have gotten out of that trap. Uh, and so thank God for my case, no education, <laughs> no formal much, you can tell by listening to me talk. You know, it's a, uh, but it, I mean, here I, not, now I'm joking, but I, you know, I have become educated over these many years because I keep learning and keep reading and keep uh, wanting to know more about everything. I I'm, I'm, have an acquisitive mind. And as a result, you know, no, I don't care about your formal education. How about, you know, if you have one, you're blessed. But then keep learning, keep questioning, keep asking ourselves, why not me? You know, why not me? Let me, let me start. Uh, Josh mentioned leadership. Let me tell you, I I, leadership is so overblown uh, that uh, uh, that uh, it, it's become a, a, an industry all of its own where people are coming up with uh, five levels of leadership and then it's coming up with ten reasons to, 
uh, 10 things you got to learn to be, and then 20 things, and then tw I saw 22 or 3 the other day, things to be a leader. Well, let me tell you, you can, you can memorize all that stuff, you still won't be a leader, okay? <laughs> but you know what? If you give your child a birthday party, and you organize the names, and put them on a list, and call the people, and bake the cake, or buy one, and get all the little trappings, the balloons, and everything, you are a leader in that situation. Right? And you can expand that. All of you are leaders somewhere in your life. If you are uh, teaching a Sunday school class for children that don't know anything about uh, the Bible and you, are, you know more about it than they do and you're, 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 you are a leader. You're a leader. You know? If you are, uh, if you are out to dinner and... Uh, you know a little bit about wine and you're going to have a, a, a glass of wine. If you know a little bit and nobody else knows anything, they will recognize you as the leader and give you the wine list and say, you know a lot about wine, you select. And you might not only know the difference, two wines, red and white, okay? <laughs> <laughs> white goes with fish and red goes with beef, okay? Or lamb. Or you might know Two other names, Cabernet and Chardonnay. That's really, you're, you're getting up there then if you, if you know that, you know. And it goes from there, but you can be the leader. And you know what? If you know just a little bit about nutrition and you're talking to someone who has no idea, you are a leader in that situation. And if you know a little bit about building the business and the business plan and the, and the compensation plan, and then you are then a leader in that situation, you can talk about it and show how the chart works and, the, and, and how the, the volume scale works and how the, uh, you're a leader. You're a leader because you step forward and you know a little bit more than someone else. <clears throat> you keep that in mind. Get out of your mind that you've got to go up there in some imaginary leader, that you're going to be wow, wowing people with your charismatic presentation. That's not a leader. That's not a leader. Sometimes that borderlines on phony. Okay, But you can be a leader in wherever you are and build on it, build on it, and then continually be challenged to the point that you grow as a person. And with that growth comes more opportunity, more success, more everything. Now, I'm going to close by just talking briefly about the future. Uh, I... I really, I know that the future, your future, uh, is going to be exciting and blessed. Because I, I believe you see uh, that you know, it's not like we don't have to do something. One thing we have to do is make up our mind, and then we get the mindset that, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And then we can't stop there. We've got to get some cooperation from other parts of our body. Like, we got to walk out the door and talk, and then we've got to get the mouth working and the brain working, right? And we got to speak. We got to get our hands stuck out, shaking hands and meeting people. Uh, you know, we need we need ears to listen to what they say, but we have to engage, right? Sometimes people spend too much time on the mindset. You know, I will think positive. Well, because, and that positive feeling will give me a warm sensation. You get that same feeling taking a warm bath, okay, hot bath, okay. <laughs> but it doesn't last very long. <laughs> same way with your mind, <laughs> okay. You get a positive mindset. But you know what? Even if your mind is not positive, if you go to work, you'll get some results and it will get positive. You know? It'll get positive. You don't have to... Now, if you sit around just thinking about this and staying in this mental state, it becomes a drug that will keep you from doing anything and will actually cause you to be in a state of denial. Right? They're repossessing my car, but I'm still going to be positive. <laughs> I can't pay my bills, but I am positive. They're taking my house, my kids, 
My, my wife left me, but I'm still going to be positive. Okay? You see what I mean? We got to get it the right mindset and then put action behind that mindset. And we're all going to do that. We're all going to do that if we want to. And that is the end of my deal right there. You hear that? <laughs> that was my timing. <laughs> if I go any longer, I'll be taking time away from Kendra and Josh and everybody else, okay, and you. Anyway, I want to say in closing, in closing, I've never been more confident about uh, the future. I've never been more comfort, confident about the leadership of the company at present. And, uh, I, and, that, and that feeling of confidence uh, extends here in the United States, in Mexico, in Canada, you know, uh, down through the Caribbean. That confidence extends globally wherever we, we put our foot down and our flag it up in the ground and away we go. And I want to thank you sincerely for uh, being a part of that. Thank you.